With regards to the economic and investment climate in Senegal, Senegal prospects are relatively positive and its economic policy is moving towards liberalization and privatization of the economy. Government and foreign donors are working hard to achieve the goal of sustainable growth and poverty reduction. The first multilateral donors are the World Bank and the European Union, but there are also the African Development Bank, the European Development Bank and the West African Development Bank and other international development banks that are in this region. The Emerging Senegal Plans includes an investment program prepared by the government for infrastructure, agriculture, social housing, tourism and mining. This plan was designed to encourage private investors and donors to fund a series of projects. In addition, the business climate is currently quite good, particularly because of the country's political stability. Moving ahead, the country's main growth drivers are private projects, but the capital of Dakar brings in together a good number of consumer goods and manufacturers who invest in the creation and expectation and expansion of their production lines. There are a number of sectors in which foreign companies can consider and also supply. Looking at different sectors, with the evolution and telecommunications sector, Senegal has become one of the most important countries of South North outsourcing. Currently, there are three mobile service providers and also thanks to the telecommunication and postal regulatory agency. The country has an independent supervisory authority for the sector since 20, 2001. While the expansion and fixed network is languishing, there is also, also accessibility in most remote parts of the country by mobile phone and Senegal has one of the highest mobile users density on the African continent. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Senegal, it's one of those countries in Africa that is rarely talked about in the investment community. But I believe this amazing African country has a lot to offer to investors. Considering its strategic location, Senegal is a country that will guarantee to a certain extent your investment. So getting into Senegal has enormous return on investment. With regards to Senegal, for those of you who want to know more, it's a country on the coast of West Africa, bordering the North Atlantic Ocean in the west and also bordered by Mauritania and the Senegal River in the north. It is bordered by Mali in the east, by Guinea and also the Guinea-Bissau on the south. It also encloses the Gambia and narrow nations along the banks of the Gambian River. Senegal shares also maritime borders with the island country of Cape Verde in the west. Senegal lies within three climate zones, with a hot desert zone in the north and semi-arid zones in the center and also tropical savanna areas in the south. The country occupies an area of just over 196,000 km square. This is about modern times or the size, so to say, the country of Greece and also slightly smaller than the US state of South Dakota. Moving also forward, the country has a population of just over 16 million people. The capital and largest city is Dakar. Spoken languages in this amazing African nation are French, which is official. You do have Waluf and also other West African languages. Looking at the background of Senegal, Senegal got its independence from France in 1960. Senegal joined with the Gambia to form the nominal confederation of Senegambia in 1982. However, the envisaged integration of the two countries was never carried out and the union was dissolved in 1989. Looking at the system and the political arrangement in this African nation, Senegal is a semi-presidential democratic republic. The country's political system remains dominated by the office of the presidency. The president is chief of state. He is elected by the absolute majority, voted through a two-round system. Head of government is the prime minister. He is appointed by the president. Senegal has a mixed legal system. Its judicial system is based on the French civil code and Senegalist Islamic law. Now that you know more about Senegal, its location, and you've heard something about the country's background and its history, I believe now you know where you should be investing. This particular country, which is one of the countries in, um, in Francophone Africa, 
I would say one of the second largest economy behind uh, Ivory Coast. Senegal has enough to offer and to bring onto the table for those of you who are planning to invest in this particular African nation. Senegal is a key country in West Africa and the entire African continent with regards to business and investment for those investors that are looking to enter this amazing African market. Senegal maintains close foreign relations with Western world, particularly with France. It is represented in and also represented in several international organizations and pays great attention to good diplomatic relations with many countries. Having a strategic geographic position, it is located on the most western part of the African continent and is bordered by Guinea, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Mali and Mauritania by land and Cape Verde by the sea. Being a member of the West African Economic and Monetary Union and also ECOWAS, Economic Community of West Africa, Senegal is heavy weight in the region economically, so to point out. Moreover, in considering that, it is the fourth largest economy in the region and also after Nigeria, Côte d'Ivoire and Ghana. In addition to that, it also belongs to the Organization for Harmonization of Business Laws in Africa, known as OHADA. All these are major assets to the establishment of world-developed regional and also global economic cooperation. Favored by state economic growth, a relatively good telecommunication infrastructure, and also affordable workforce in terms of wages, the country offers very good conditions for the engagement of foreign companies, emerging graduates, and also gradually in different areas as a major supply market in West Africa that Senegal offers. Senegal's foreign trade is gradually leaning towards imports. Production is largely dominated by the service sector and followed by the industrial and agricultural sector. On the other hand, the agricultural sector employs more than 80% of the Senegalese workforce, but production is the sector is very low, as it is so many other sectors. This gives access to investment opportunities in various fields such as packaging and feeding equipment, also processing of agricultural products and agricultural equipment, manufacturing, medical technology and renewable energies. Moreover, Senegal has practically imports all types of industrial products as well as food products which includes rice, flowers and also drink milks and sugar and all four other uh, consum consumable issues in the particular region. Also, Dakar as a hub for international air traffic has the second largest port in West Africa and also offers very good condition for commuting the region. Senegal's international trade and import-export market therefore plays a key role in economic development. It also has some very important export products which includes mainly petroleum, goldfish and also phosphate products. Among its main partners in this field are Mali, Switzerland, the United Arab Emirates, France, Côte d'Ivoire and Guinea. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Are there challenges in Senegal? Absolutely yes. Where are there no challenges in the world? There is no particular investment destination that you will go into and you will face those challenges. Of course, the number one thing that everyone should consider is about stability. Talking about stability, Senegal is very stable. We've talked about stability in this particular, uh, in this channel with regards to the African continent. Talking about Ghana and other countries, Tanzania and the rest, Senegal offers incredible stability. So if you want to get into the country, stability is something like we've laid out that should be a very forefront of your decision making process. With regards to other business opportunities, Senegal is endowed with a variety of diversified economy, which is generally determined by the large dependency on imports with a low rate of export and also rather narrow domestic markets. Nowadays, more than 60% of its population work in agriculture, which is also contributing to less than 17% of the GDP. Dakar, like most other African and West African capitals, is submerged by trades in formal sectors, which strongly dominates the labor market. Senegal's economy grew has been uh, clearly improved since 2016, despite a steady decline and stagnation in the previous years. Although the country has not always been very popular in terms of investment, thanks to political stability that has lasted for decades, 
it is still much more attractive for uh, numerous foreign investors and business opportunities. The majority of Senegalese work in the fishery and agricultural sector, but others such as tourism and industry are starting to develop. In addition, several sectors can be exploited and prospects for investment in this amazing African country with regards to possible return on investment. The imports of food products into Senegal are multiplying, firstly because of the poor conditions of small-scale agricultural economy. Looking at impoverishing in different areas, what happens is that Senegal would definitely need things like fertilizers, um, highly equipment to improve its agricultural systems and these are major opportunities for investment and widespread development within the economy of Senegal. With trade balance that has been chronically deficit for many years, Senegal imports rates are has to uh, stop rising. Clearly, the state budget is under enormous pressure as the energy sector has depended on imports of crude oil. According to uh, the National Agency for Statistics and Democracy and Demography, so the point out, there was an increase of over 426 billion uh, that's uh, in the CFA franc in accumulated imports after the first 11 months of last year compared to the same period looking at a couple of years back. In total, the figures are mounting to a reasonable sum, which increased to over 15%. On a monthly basis, import increased uh, in a certain rate that will allow investors to carry out development and make lots of money in this particular area. During the period considering most import products are the machinery and equipments, uh, also fishing petroleum and products and in considering that the different things like rice and other major equipments are medical facilities that are requiring these supplies coming in from different countries huge openings for investment the main suppliers during this period were france and also china and the netherlands and also senegal germany are some of those countries that source senegal source materials to its country if you like our content and if you feel that it's informative with regards to investment and development within the African continent, please give this video a like so many people can know about Senegal and investing in Africa. Are you from Senegal? Are you from Dakar or from other cities across the country? Tell us why people should visit your city and why investors should come to your country to do business. What are the latest changes and things that you believe, aside from tourism, that will attract people to come to your country to do business. Let us know other hidden opportunities and what you think Senegal can offer differently that other countries in the region cannot offer investors. We want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully you can check on our other videos on our channel and also make sure that you give this video a like and let other investors know uh, why they should come to your beautiful country. We want to thank you for watching the Explorer. We are looking forward to meeting you soon and have a good day. Bye-bye.